This cannot be a real thing. So, I, I ran across an a, a article where this doctor from Duke Medical School, I guess Duke University, states that making black people show up on time is racist. Rather, it's white supremacy telling us to be to work on time. There are so many There are so many stupid things that I have read on the internet or have seen on the internet. I'm like, this couldn't have been a real thing, right? I saw the title, I was like, no, nope, not at all. Someone's making this up. This is satire. So of course I look into it, it's not satire, it's real. There's a white dude out there telling black folks that white people making black people come to work on time are racist against black folks. And it, and the only reason why I'm talking about this is because I am still in shock and awe over this article, rather over this doctor who states that this is a thing, that that black people should be able to get to work late. I mean, and he didn't say it in those words, but I'm pretty sure that's where he was going with it, stating that if you make us show up on work on time, that it's racist. Now, granted, this is one guy. There was the whole uh, time blindness girl who stated that when she was in a job interview that she asked the interviewer that do they accommodate time blindness. That was a year or two ago, maybe three. And I'm like, wait a second, what? Time blindness? But now apparently it's racist to have Negroes come to work on time. So there was a 2021 plan dismantling racism and advancing equity. And in that plan, if you will, they talked about not forcing people of color to come to work on time. That means, that just means that if you tell somebody, hey, I'd like you to be here at 10 in the morning, but if you get here any time after that, it's okay. You're allowing, and I don't, listen, I really don't see anybody, <laughs> I don't see anybody doing this. All right, maybe a couple people, but not many. Imagine they're like, oh, I need you to be here at nine o'clock. Okay, in the morning, all right. And then you get to work at, I don't know, four o'clock in the afternoon. I showed up to work, I'm a little behind. I'll get my work done in an hour and then I'll go home. Because that's the kind of shit that you are breeding. That's the kind of behavior you're encouraging. Because if you're telling people they don't have to be in work on time and they could be in at any time during that eight hour period, you're definitely setting up businesses to fail. Now, granted guys, there are a lot of businesses that are not gonna abide by this. I don't think anyone, anybody with a business who is sane is going to abide by this because then you're just going to have people haphazardly coming into work whenever they want it doesn't work that socialist anti-racism bullshit thinking doesn't work and there are more and more stupid and this is a doctor at a i guess ivy league school right duke university i guess it's ivy league right this is a, 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 a supposedly a smart man telling negroes that we can come in whenever we want because it's white supremacy to have us come in on time. I don't understand the stupid ideology behind this. I mean, for Christ's sakes, a few years ago, they said math was racist. How do we know two plus two is four? What if it's five? I'm like, bitch, hold your fucking hands up. And they count. And then the two and two, and you're like, oh, four. It's not one, two, three, five. Peter Mello jelly sandwich. That was racist. I'm like, how the fuck so? White people were raised on peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So what the fuck was I? So what the fucking get the guys I grew up with? It was not a racist. But people try to make everything racist, guys, so that they can perpetuate a divide in this country. Case in point, 
the lady that got killed, uh, Massey, whatever her name is, Sonia Massey, who gets killed by the cop. The cop's in jail. That motherfucker's gone. There is no way he wins his lawsuit. Not his lawsuit. He wins a trial. He's going to lose. He's going to go to jail. He's going to, he's charged with murder or homicide. You can't beat that case. But yet the media is still drumming it up. The police department and the state that he was in, I forgot what it was, quickly identified the bullshit and sent him and put him in jail. I think there's bail involved, and I don't think he, he reached the bail or he was able to post bail, whatever it was, but still. And the guy has a track record for being an asshole at other police departments. So they handled it quickly, they put him in jail, they charged him, done. But the media is still trying to drum it up. There are vigils going on right now for this lady. I'm like, what the vigils are for? She died like two, three weeks ago. And now people are trying to make it like it happened last week. They're having these vigils. What vigils? The problem was resolved immediately. Immediately resolved. But they are trying to keep the divide going. By any means necessary. Now that Kamala Harris is running for president, they're going to beat that drum even harder now to keep that divide so they can have the black vote vote for Kamala Harris. And the black vote right now, she has minimal black votes. But CNN will tell you otherwise. I'm telling you guys, they're going to doctor up the polls between Trump and Kamala Harris. In fact, CNN released these BS polls stating that Kamala Harris is either tied or beating him in certain states. Complete BS. She was the worst vice president polled in the country. Polled in the country, the worst vice president in the history of presidency. Of vice presidency, sorry. And now she's beating Trump in these states? Get the fuck out of here. Again, guys, trying to keep the divide. They're going to keep beating the drum that Trump is racist. They're losing that fight because more and more black people are siding with Trump. Then they are, especially, nobody wants to deal with Kamala Harris. People rather get herpes and HIV combined than deal with Kamala Harris. That's how bad it is. Anyway, guys, be careful of the bullshit. These articles that pop up, they're funny, but they're also frustrating that somebody actually thinks like this. This is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel.